Premier League referees run on average 10.4 kilometers per game. This is more than most players, and it's done at a high sprint pace. Referees use advanced monitoring technology to measure their performance. If you're not a Premier League referee, Ref6 can give you all these stats and more. With this data in hand, it's much easier to create a tailored fitness program. And by training hard during the week, you can make it easier to get into the right positions on the weekend. We've developed our own plan that helps you get fit like a Premier League referee. It will help you run further and faster. We've broken this plan down into three parts. Endurance, speed, and agility. First up is endurance. Box runs gives you this kind of endurance training and can be done on the pitch really easily with no equipment. All we want you to do is run between the 18-yard box on one end of the pitch and the 18-yard box on the other end of the pitch. If you're a beginner, we want you to be doing this in 45 seconds, so there and back in 45 seconds with a 45-second rest. If you're more advanced and feel like you're fit, then we want you to do that in 30 seconds, so there and back in 30 seconds with a 30-second rest. And that is the session done. Make sure you warm up and cool down properly by checking out our other videos. Once you've been training like this over a few weeks, you should start seeing an increase in the distance that you cover and the total number of sprints you complete on a match day. You can check this out on your ref stick stats and see the difference that your hard work has made. Next up is speed. To increase speed, we want you to practice your high speed sprints. This means that we want you to be at near top speed and increase your top speed if possible. Our speed session is based on the pitch with just a minimal amount of equipment. All we need is three cones, and you're gonna start on the goal line, put a, car, a cone 10 yards away, 20 yards away, and 30 yards away. And what you wanna do is you wanna do 10 sprints at 10 yards, 10 sprints at 20 yards, and 20 sprints at 30 yards. And this works on your acceleration and your top speed. After a few weeks, you should see the number of high speed sprints and the different colors of sprints increasing in your ref six stats. Finally, let's focus on agility. This is a vital part of your fitness because a referee moves in a unique way on the pitch, not only backwards and forwards, but side to side. And we need to be rapid no matter whatever way we're moving. We practice agility using an exercise we call the referee T. And what this is, is you need four cones, one at the start, one in the middle, one 10 yards to the left, and one 10 yards to the right, and then one just in front of you as well, so five cones. What you're gonna do is you're gonna to sprint to the first cone, go sideways to the cone on your left, and then sideways right leg leading all the way to the other cone on the right hand side, and then use your sideways on the left leg to get back to the middle, and then just that 10 yard burst of speed uh, to finish off. You're gonna do this five times, and then rest for two minutes, and repeat this three times. So 15 sprints in total, and that's the agility session. After a few weeks training, check out the Ref6 sprint map to see if you're sprinting at high speeds and the different directions that you're traveling in, not just back and forth. And there we have it. Using these sessions over a four to six weeks period, you should notice the difference in fitness, agility, and movement on a match day. You can monitor your performance using Ref6 stats and adjust your program accordingly. For instance, if you're noting that sprinting isn't an issue, but you're struggling in the final minutes of a game, we suggest that you focus more on endurance training during the week. Download our full referee program for more information and next up is strength training, an often overlooked part of a referee's fitness regime.